The Initiative Foundation in Little Falls is transitioning into a new era of leadership. Today they announced the name of their new president. Our Logan Gay spoke with the incoming president about his vision for the future of the foundation. For three decades, under the leadership of one woman, the Initiative Foundation has provided grants, business financing, and leadership programs that empower communities. It's not even a job, it's been a life for me, a career path of helping people make strong communities and grow businesses and help kids and families. After 30 years of leading the foundation and investing over $81 million into the region, Goldswick is now passing the baton to a former chief operating officer of the U.S. Small Business Administration. There are so many great things that have been done. We can do more of that in the future, and I'm excited to come here and bring uh, some of my background uh, and combine that together with a great board of trustees as well as a, a fantastic staff. Verlick, a true believer of philanthropy, is hoping to use his new role to strengthen the community. I'm hoping to take the Initiative Foundation is to carry on in achieving the mission, as they have done successfully, but carry on in achieving the mission to make central Minnesota even stronger, uh, to help more small businesses succeed here, help more individuals succeed. And with the help of the Initiative Foundation, a popular molding company and brand was able to stay on the cutting edge of their industry. That when you have the endorsement of the Initiative Foundation behind you, that uh, it means a lot to not only the lenders, but to the community as well. Verlick will officially take over the duties for president on January 3rd. In Little Falls, Logan Gay, Lakeland News. The outgoing president, Kathy Gullswick, plans to reside in the Brainerd Lakes region after she retires from her position at the Initiative Foundation. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.